Most of you know that I actually started my video game content career with Apex Legends. I started over on my Kaiser DeBar channel uploading edited gameplay with background music and silly memes, and I was also a streamer for around two years in the space. I dumped well over 6,000 hours into Apex Legends before I quit, and one of the big driving factors behind me leaving the game was the insane amount of corporate greed. Heirlooms were something that were incredibly special to the player base. Everybody always looked forward to the new season to see what new heirlooms would come out for what new legends, and the people who had those heirlooms, or who made the legends who got the heirlooms rather, would always get incredibly excited. Then we got the first heirloom skin. It was... Interesting, to say the least. A nearly $500 skin, that's about what people value the heirlooms at because it takes 500 packs to guarantee that you get one. Um, or you could say it's probably around $200 because you could get them with every collection event if you bought the entire collection event. But these new level of skins, these new heirloom skins, meant that there was apparently going to be another way for you to spend vastly large amounts of money on trying to get a cosmetic within the game. The reason that I got so aggravated with this was the entire disregard for the player base that Respawn seemed to have. Instead of focusing their efforts to catch up every single legend and make sure everyone was able to get an heirloom, they would instead be focusing on trying to release an heirloom skin and a normal heirloom, and we would always pretty much be behind. There would always be somebody who didn't have an heirloom, and we wouldn't enter what I would consider to be a fair cycle of releasing a new character and their heirloom coming out with them so that we could have some actually really cool things. I wouldn't have minded the heirloom skins if they had waited until after every single character had had an heirloom and then it would have been, like I said, a cycle. New legend gets released, uh, heirloom gets released for them and an heirloom skin gets released for another legend and we keep going until everybody's caught up and then you come up with something else. The other bigger problem when it came to Apex Legends was just how much they were trying to wring money out of their player base. It seemed like, eh, Every single month there was another fucking collection event, another fucking reason to spend two, three, four hundred dollars on their game, and it was just so scummy. And one of the things that kind of ruined it was the fact that every big content creator in the space would just buy everything that Respawn released, mostly because it was due to a lack of content, and that's by design. Respawn purposely would not release new game modes or new ways to enjoy the game or massive battles balance patches because they knew that if they just kept releasing cosmetics then all of the whales and all of the content creators would just buy that because it was the only semblance of quote unquote content anybody actually had and like i said that wasn't the driving factor behind me leaving apex legends but it was 110 percent one of the biggest things well, looks like Overwatch or Blizzard has begun the exact same pattern of behavior. So if you're not aware, Overwatch 2 released with a concept called Mythic Skins. Mythic Skins are these quote-unquote highly customizable, although in some cases like Hanzo and Orisa, they're not highly customizable at all, skins that would come once a season. Basically, once a season, one lucky hero of the four billion that they have would receive the chance at getting a highly customizable skin for all of the mains to enjoy. All you had to do for the longest time was just buy the battle pass and you would get the skin for that season. Now obviously there's a big problem with the FOMO aspect of this, so eventually Overwatch was going to have to do what Respawn ended up doing with Apex and introducing a currency specifically for Mythic skins, which I want to make perfectly clear I am all Four, I do not mind a specific currency dedicated to getting these specific skins so that people can buy whichever ones they want. And if someone happens to join the game late into its lifespan, they have the opportunity to go back and get a skin that looks good to them and they're not missing out on the potential for that skin. I think FOMO in general in video games needs to be eradicated because your long-term profits will be benefited if people can just buy things year round. But you know, that's a discussion for another video. The point is, is that I did not mind the mythic skins, nor did I mind when the mythic prisms were introduced. 
What did begin to boil my fucking blood was when they brought in the mythic weapons, which on top of a lot of things ended up also including the entire uh, weapon inspect that we were promised in the reveal trailer of Overwatch 2 to come to the game as a base feature, and instead they decided to tie it behind $80 skins. Now when these criticisms first started getting levied when the Rhinehammer came out, a bunch of absolute corporate suckers decided that they were going to sit there and go you don't understand okay blizzard is actually really generous because you just buy the battle pass and then you can get this skin but what they failed to mention is that if you miss out on even one battle pass then you're going to have to still spend money to grab the skin in fact it actually doesn't matter if you grabbed every battle pass or not because these are additional skins being released throughout the seasons so whenever a new season comes out with the mythic prisms you have to decide between getting the full upgraded version of the mythic skin that dropped that season or you have you can choose to get the weapon and if somebody decides that they want to have both of those things for whatever reason the case may be right maybe they're a collector and they just want to have everything in the game maybe they're actually really enjoying the game and they want to support it or maybe the mythic weapon that releases happens to be one for one of their mains and the mythic skin that releases happens to be a skin for one of their mains whatever the case may be this is a way to get people to pay even more money and once again all the large content creators ended up spending that $80 on these skins and it just continues to feed the cycle. What makes it even worse is the fact that Overwatch has now released it. Released it? Released it. I'm a professional, by the way. Overwatch has now released a thing called Gilded Mythic Skins, which is an additional 20 fucking prisms in order to get the gold version of whatever Mythic Skin you happen to possess. This serves no purpose except for getting you to spend even more money. Now, Mythic Prisms work similarly to Overwatch coins. It is basically a one-to-one -one ratio, but you can only buy them in bundles. 10 Mythic Prisms is $10, 50 Mythic Prisms is $40, and 100 Mythic Prisms is $80. So basically, you have these three options. These are the options you are locked behind. So in order to get these gilded aspects, you have to spend an additional $20 on top of the roughly $80 you would have had to spend for the 100 Mythic Prisms in order to get the gilded aspects of the skin. And basically what I'm saying is that they are slowly sneaking in more and more and more and more reasons for you to buy Mythic Prisms. Now remember, Overwatch is going down the mobile game route of having like 12 different currencies. So you have the, let's let's be clear here, you have the Overwatch coins, which are a one to one dollar ratio uh, and allow you to buy the overpriced skins that exist in the shop you have the uh white coins that you can't purchase that you get for free to buy old skins from overwatch one um that nobody cares about anymore you have the uh you have the competitive points which you can't buy you can only earn you have legacy competitive points because god forbid that people who grinded competitive for years actually get rewarded for you know grinding your game when it had literally no content being produced for it you know go fuck yourself i guess yes and then we have the owl tokens which which are six dollars to one hundred. Uh, basically, it's six. It's five ninety nine for a hundred. Eleven ninety nine for two hundred. Uh, Twenty four ninety nine for four hundred. Uh, Forty seven ninety nine for nine hundred. And then one hundred and nineteen ninety nine for twenty six hundred. Overwatch League tokens. Um, I think those are being retired. Don't take my word for it. I'm actually not caught up with that. But essentially, Overwatch has a ton of currencies, and currently three of them: the Overwatch League tokens. The the Overwatch coins and the Mythic Prisms all cost money. So basically, Overwatch is continuing to release ways for you to spend more and more money. And every single time big creators buy these cosmetics that they are releasing every single goddamn season, uh, it's just another reason for Overwatch to continue releasing even more money-grubbing habits. This is entirely anti-consumer. This is anti-consumer. This is anti-player. And it's done for nothing more than short-term profits. I am getting sick 
sick and tired of watching free to play games go this route. Don't get me wrong, you gotta make your money somewhere. And I've said in the past that I actually believe that live service gaming is a good thing, but that we need to shape up and make sure that companies aren't taking advantage of the average player in order for them to be a good thing. So yeah, basically at the end of the day, I don't like these monetary practices and I do believe that uh, Blizzard needs to lighten the fuck up. Hey, these gilded aspects would have been cool as like a final part of the already existing mythic skins, but not for even more mythic prisms. That's just ridiculous. It's just another way to get you to spend more money. You can no longer get the gilded, at you can no longer get a full mythic skin from the battle pass, by the way. It still only has 80 tokens inside of the battle pass or 70, whichever one. Um, so you no longer are able to get the gilded version. You're, you're no longer able to get the full mythic skin because the gilded version costs an extra 20 mythic prisms that means you have to spend an extra 20 dollars on top of what you get in the battle pass to get the gilded versions so yeah it's just more money grubbing bullshit it needs to go away it needs to stop i'm sick and tired of seeing this kind of crap but that's all i have for you guys today let me know what you think in the comment section down below and as always a great big special thank you to my channel members listen on screen now if you want to find out how to become a channel member today get awesome perks like seeing videos early merch discount codes and more than please click that join button down below i love you guys so much and i will see you in the next one need more kaiser in your life well i've got you covered check out my second channel to kaiser extras where i upload full gameplays stream compilations me reacting to your dead by daylight clips and more we also upload a daily short with all the greatest clips from stream we'll see you over there link is in the description